Hello, Amarada. Hello. Hello. Hey, Sharon. Suzanne. Hey, Val. Come on in. See someone else is coming in. Good to have y'all. Linda. Hey, Linda. Good to see you out here. Well, tonight's subject is going to be happy because it's, <laughs> it's about laughter. And we all need more laughter in our lives. <laughs> I like to laugh. My husband's always making me laugh. And we're very loud about it. Hey, Bridget. Sometimes a good old laugh is, on some days it feels like it's all you got. So you got to use what you got. You got to pull your tools out of your tool belt. <laughs> I know that uh, we're going to go ahead and start because I think we're right at 8 o'clock. So thank y'all for being here. And tonight will be fun because it's about laughing and we all need more laughter. And I recall a post this week on our site and we were talking about just, you know, sometimes being down. I had kind of a blue Monday one, one week and I thought, you know what, it would be a great topic to talk about laughing and how important it is to laugh. Laughter is free. It is something we can even do alone. Sometimes I will just be reflecting on something and I'll just start laughing because something I did or something that we did that was just funny and we recalled it. But if you have any children in your life, you've probably had some laughter. So, But I don't need them. I, I can laugh at myself for some of my stuff that I do. I was preparing for this and I said, well, you know, I'm going to look up laughter and some facts about laughter and what laughter, uh, what it does. So this is what I found. See what y'all think. Do you know that a healthy dose of laughter, hey, Barbara and Shirley, a healthy dose of laughter can reduce pain and prevent infections. Now, can you believe that? Now, I think the Bible says laughter is good like a medicine. Isn't that true? Think about that. It can reduce pain and it can prevent infections. All right? It actually physically drops stress hormones. Now, I don't know about y'all, but anything that has to do with stress, whether it's a hormone or whatever it is, I want it to drop in my body. And I do believe that. I believe that laughing sometimes just gets you through. You know what else it does? Just like exercise, laughing releases endorphins. And those endorphins are what makes us feel good. And I don't know about y'all, but I need some feel good sometimes. Especially on one of those blue Mondays. I was posting where, uh, you know, I have a grown son who is out of college, and I have a daughter, my youngest, starting college. And I'm very happy and I'm very excited but it also feels a little sad because, you know, it's kind of the beginning of the stage of leaving the nest, isn't it? So it's, it's kind of, it was kind of blue. It's a good thing, but it's just a little blue. And, but I have to really focus on all the wonderful things and, and really not look to the point that, of when she will be gone. Just enjoy her while she's here. Enjoy every moment. And today was one of those days. It was a mother-daughter day. We spent the day shopping for back to school. We had to get back to school items. Mostly were closed today, but we had a fantastic time. So, we laughed too. 
good, heavy, hard laughing brings more oxygen into your lungs. So think about that. You know, when we exercise and you really do um, cardiovascular, you get to the point when you're deep into your exercise where you're pulling oxygen all the way down into the lower parts of your lungs, which is sometimes what we do not do when we sit around like watching TV. So that's why it is important to get outside, whether it's gardening, whether it's walking, walking our dogs, whatever it is, very important to get the oxygen into our lungs because I believe it has a lot to do with our health too, getting the oxygen into our system. But also, we do not normally exercise the lower part of our lungs unless we are, we are exercising physically hard, working physically hard, or laughing. And I mean the gut-busting type of laughter. It sucks a lot of oxygen in. The ones where your stomach hurts, if you ever laugh like that, where your stomach hurts so bad when you're laughing, because I have. I have watched some funny movies, and they were so intense, so funny, that I just couldn't hardly breathe. So that's what we all need. We all need a good dose of that. We need that oxygen. It's good for us. Laughter reduces heart disease. Now think about that. And... Doesn't that beat having to go and have a quadruple bypass, you know, or, or doesn't that beat having to take some of that, that those drugs, well, what is it, Plavix? I'm not sure if that's one of them, but heart-type medicines when we can laugh? I mean, I'd rather laugh. Uh, this is something I like. 15 minutes a day has been shown to help you to lose weight. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I'm all on board <laughs> for losing the weight. And that is a fun way to do it, right? <laughs> laugh your all the way. Laugh yourself all the way down the scale. So, <laughs> I like that. Laughter is contagious. We know that. Just like yawning is contagious, laughter is contagious. So, when you laugh, I laugh, we all laugh. So, let's put our laugh on. This is Tuesday, we have the rest of the week. So our goal is to laugh this week. Laugh more and to laugh with our friends. Laugh on ourselves too. I, this, I, I didn't know this. I learned something today. So I'm gonna give y'all a little, a word. Gelatology. I've never heard of that before, but now we have. Gelatology is the study of laughter and what laughter does to the body. Gelatology. <laughs> so gelatology, they actually study what happens to the body when we laugh. So that's how they found out some of these facts. Most laughter that happens in a day's time happens in social situations. Not, not jokes, not television, but just normal social interaction. You know, with friends, uh, career, your coworkers, uh, can be really pets. I mean, for me, that's social. They're funny. Mine are funny sometimes. But it happens. There's only 10 15% of laughter that takes place from jokes and that sort of thing. Laughter is the same in all languages. And don't you love that? Everybody knows when somebody laughs what that is. Nobody has to interpret it. So that's something that, that's one thing that we can do that crosses all languages. Laughter! <laughs> Did you know that humans are not the only ones who laugh? Animals laugh. It's been shown that dogs and cats laugh, and you may you may have some that do that. Mine cry. Mine cry when the, where Luna is, my pit bull is somewhere around here. That is next, she's behind those pillows. She cries when we get home because she's so happy that we are home. So she cries, but they also, animals can laugh. You gonna bring me some tea? Thank you, babe, I appreciate you doing that. Thank you. And I'm gonna smile, because I got my hot tea. So, animals also laugh. Do you know that when you were six years old, you laughed three times more than you laugh now? Maybe not. Hopefully you're still laughing. But six-year-olds laugh across the board 
Yes, and that on an average, three times more than their adult counterparts. Three times more. I guess that's why kids just have fun. They find stuff that they can get into. Hey, Kelly and Gail. We're talking about laughter. And this is one that's important because typically when I have had to go to the doctor and I've had things I'm, I've dealt with that I needed medicine prescribed, I've had thyroid issues, skin issues, almost across the board, that has to do with my immune system. And it says right here that it strengthens, it's been shown, that laughter strengthens the immune system. Now, to me, that's pretty amazing. That just by laughing, we can strengthen the immune system. So it decreases heart disease, causes us to lose weight, it increases the immune system, it releases endorphins, right? It causes stress hormones to drop. You know, and it's something that's contagious. It crosses all language barriers. So isn't it great that's something that we can share? We can share with the world. We can share with our family, our friends. And it's a good thing. Now I want to share this. When, uh, and I've, I've commented on this in the past. When my husband and I were going through uh, an economic downturn years ago, we were in dire straits. And when I would get up in the morning, it was all I could do to gather myself and not go into like an anxiety panic mode because it was going to be a hard day, hour to hour, to get through the day financially. What I mean by that is we had several businesses and there were electronic drafts were going through on, on the checking accounts for these businesses. And some things were things that needed to go through, like your insurance, mortgage payments. They were just things that had to be paid. And we did our best, and really we left the rest of God. That's what we had to do to get through the day. But one thing we would do at night, sometimes we would have to come home. Our kids were small. We would have to shut the door. We'd have to just exhale a little bit. That we made it through one more day. And we and sometimes it was a messy day. Didn't always get through with flying colors. Sometimes it was messy. And sometimes it was very, very challenging. But we get through. We exhale. Then we would go and get on YouTube. <laughs> we would get on YouTube and we would find the stupidest videos. <laughs> stupid, funny videos. And we'd watch them until our stomach hurt. Just the, the realistic ones were the, or the real ones, the real life ones, were the ones usually that were the funniest. But we found some other ones. We found some for us that were cult classics that we watched over and over. Also during that time, and I posted these. I hope y'all could see them on our Facebook post. Because sometimes those posts end up on down, down, on down in there. But I told some ladies, I said, you know, I'm going to put some funny movies out here that I watched that helped me get through some tough times because laughter is important. We must incorporate laughter into our lives. We need to smile. We need to be aware that sometimes I know that when I'm talking, I'm talking like, blah, blah, you know, like grumpy. But even when we're on the phone, if we smile, it does come through our voice. And just as when we laugh, that comes through our life. It comes through our body, you know, and it creates... It creates an atmosphere. It creates an atmosphere of joy that surrounds us. And we want to be joy, right? When you walk into a room, do you want people around you to say, wow, something very special and wonderful about that person? Or do you want people to think, man, she's toxic. Stay away from me. Of course we want people to want to be around us. But some of that is. It's just sometimes you, you we've got to go get our mindset back right. So what we did, we had a couple of movies that we watched. In fact, several. But one of them, hey, Kelly. Well, Kelly, you need to get your laugh on. Go watch some of those movies. I, I listed probably 10 to 20 movies out there. One that we watched, and I know we watched it over 100 times. That's not an exaggeration. Sometimes I think we watched it um almost like once a day because we just we got to the point where we could hit that re instant replay on our remote 
and we had certain things we would just play over and we would just roll. We would laugh. You're either a fan or not a fan of Jim Carrey. And I am like either a fan or not a fan of his movies. There's some that I love, 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 and some that I hate. I can't stand. I could not watch that movie, Dumb and Dumb. I just could not watch it. But Fun with Dick and Jane is one of my all-time favorite movies. I know I've seen that thing well over 100 times, and that got us through some tough times. There were just some good scenes in there. There were some scenes that just made me cry, made my stomach hurt. And I guess it would be according to what you're going through, certain movies that address what we were going through, because that's what they were going through. They were going through a financial crisis, and they got through it. They, they made it through. It wasn't pretty, but they made it. They made a comeback. They just kept trying. So, uh, and in the end, they sort of get back everything they had lost, and they got back at the very ones that had done them so dirty and so wrong, which is always kind of cool when the good guy wins. But it's fun with Dick and Jane, and that is a hilarious movie. There's another one I'm thinking of. It's uh, You'll Either Love It or Hate It. But it is a funny movie. It's got such funny parts. You can just go and just replay. That's Major Pain. When I first watched that movie, I could not hardly make it through. I just didn't see anything funny about it. But I watched it a second time. And then it's just, those weighing guys, they are hilarious. And another one I watched years ago, and it was so funny. It had me on the floor. I literally was rolling on the floor. It hurt my stomach so much. And that was uh, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. It's an oldie but goodie. It's Steve Martin, John Candy, and they were just hilarious. So I really love, there. I put a whole list of different ones out there for y'all. So you can go and check it out, and maybe you can watch you some funny movies. But I want y'all to get your laugh on this week, and go and comment below that post. Go and comment to the things, the movies that you watch. What is it that makes you laugh? Is there, do you like jokes? Is that what it takes? Is it your animals? Do you go and watch those bloopers on YouTube? Just some sort of funny, like, sometimes we like to watch the falls, like certain kind of falls or whatever. We watch those. Not that we want to watch people get hurt, but just things are just silly. So, yeah, major pain, yeah. <laughs> hey, Donya. But go and check out some funny movies. There is a YouTube clip. This was another one that we watched on YouTube, and I, I know it's, um, y'all, it's probably 15 years old or close to it. It is The Interpreter, and it's a clip. It must be some sort of a sitcom or something out of Britain because I believe these people were British, but it kind of reminded me of a Saturday Night Live skit, but, of course, it was something British. See if you can find that, that clip, The Interpreter, because I'm going to tell you, I don't know how many times they had to do, had to film that, how many takes. Because there's no way I could have done that with a straight face. Just no way. She is so funny. So you got to go and watch, see if you can find the interpreter. If I find find it, I will see if I can put it on Amarod. And, and y'all tell me if you think it's as funny as I think it is. But this week, yeah, Patch Adams is a good movie. I saw that. That's Robin. I put RV, watched RV the other night with Robin Williams. So, hey, Tracy. Go and watch some of your favorites. Get out some things. It's a cult classic for you. When you're feeling a little bit blue, you know what? Go watch something funny. Go have some fun. Go laugh. Get, get around people who bring the laugh out in you. I have some friends. We laugh when we get together. And so that's what we do. We don't talk about people. We just laugh. So get your laugh on this week. So below my post out there on movies, please put your movies that you love because maybe there's something I've missed. Go out there and comment. <laughs> That's okay. Listen, I am so glad y'all are here. And y'all can go back and watch this. You can replay it anytime. I have been reprimanded by Facebook. They would not let me send out uh, invites for tonight. <laughs> because I invited too many people, apparently, for another live, and you're only supposed to invite 500. So, anyway. So, whatever. We are out here, and we're having a good time, and we're laughing. So, go get your laugh on. Get your laugh on tonight. Get it on this week. And please share. Share some funny things. 
You know, if you want to put a reel out there of yourself telling a joke, you know what this does? It inspires others. And one thing that the women in this group, they need to kind of, there's a lot of people out here. We need to come out of our shells. We need to come out and be our authentic self and just show us for who we are. I'm out here. I'm making myself very vulnerable and transparent. Listen, you guys can do that too. And you'll feel better. You know, we are your biggest cheerleaders. We are there for you. We are cheering you on. But we need to see more of y'all. Put some pictures out there. I love to see you guys' pictures. I love to see what's going on in your life. Listen, I love y'all. Laugh. Just laugh. Have a great week.